Russell Westbrook deserved to be suspended for today's game. That's how appalling his game was. Now, I've been raving about Paul, Russell Westbrook since he arrived in Los Angeles. He's been a godsend for the Clippers as far as I'm concerned. He's an energizer bunny. But what he did the last game, I want y'all to go back and reflect on what transpired in game three. Look at this foul right here. You knock the guy clear upside the head. You sit up there and you come down on Luka Doncic in the back. That play right there, you could have separated his shoulder. Then you push him in the chest. Then you go after P.J. And then after that, even though P.J. shoved you in the back, and then you're shrugging off the referee. I felt so serious about this, fellas. I called the league office, and I said, I need an explanation. Tell me why Russell Westbrook wasn't suspended. And I was told that the referees gave, the officials gave their report. And every indication in writing that they provided said, we handled this. He got a couple of technicals, plus a flagrant one, plus he was ejected, plus no one was injured. So we took all of those things into consideration. That's why we didn't suspend him. And I stood down. I said, that makes total sense. I'm glad. But they said, if it had been the regular season, the likelihood is that they might have had a different decision. But hmm. it's the playoffs, and because of how important it is, you can't just do that. But Russell Westbrook... Mad love and respect to him most times. I was so disappointed in the way that he played the other day. Kawhi Leonard is hit, hurt. Paul George and him combined for 16 points. They're averaging 29 points per game together. Mm. You're needed, and you acting like that? I, I couldn't believe it. I